this is Trish here. There's a couple things I need to make sure you remember about your recorders. Um, first of all, you have tape on your recorder. It's important that you keep the tape on your recorder right now. In a little bit, you'll be able to level up and pull the tape off and one hole at a time will uncover. But for right now, I need you to keep the tape on because it'll help you play better, I promise. I know it's kind of annoying, but it will make it better. So when you're playing your thumb of your left hand, your left hand is the one that is on the side that makes an L. So when you look at it, your left hand makes an L. You're looking at mine and it's probably backwards, I'm guessing, but that's because it makes an L to me. See, it's an L. Okay, so your left hand thumb goes on the small piece of tape in the back of the recorder. That's the side that's closest to you. And then your pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger go on the long piece of tape on the front of the recorder. I don't have tape on mine, sorry. Your right hand fingers, your two fingers, they move together right now. So these two fingers go over the next two holes closest to the tape. There are no empty holes between my ring finger of my left hand and my pointer finger of my right hand. And these two fingers are gonna move together. So you're gonna play G that sounds like this, and E that sounds like this. And the more holes we cover up, the softer you have to blow. If you're getting a squeaky sound like this, that means you're blowing too hard or you're holding your recorder too straight out from your mouth. It's not a trumpet, it doesn't go like this. It goes down like this. When I tell you to hold your recorder down, make sure you're not moving your whole head down because the problem is the way it comes out of your mouth. The air comes out of your mouth into the recorder. You want it to go this way, all right? So it goes down at this angle. So. G and E. When you're playing those two notes, you need to make sure that when you're putting your fingers over the holes, you're not bending your knuckles, all right? Use the flat fingerprint part of your finger. That will allow your fingers to cover the holes better. Um, this part of your finger is really squishy right there, so it can squish over and cover the entire hole. It's less likely to come off when if you used your end of your finger like you're poking an elevator button that part of your finger isn't very squishy and you have to get it exactly in the right spot to get it to cover so you want to use the fingerprint parts of your fingers the part you would hit if you were given a high five all right and those parts go over so your fingers are kind of straight on your recorder if you're a piano player i know your piano teachers always tell you to play with curved fingers but on recorder you play with mostly straight fingers all right, so the E and the G. And it hardly takes any air. If you play lots of notes in a row, make sure the air keeps coming out of your mouth, but you just touch the roof, your, touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So it makes a little sound like this. I don't know if you could hear that, but it's kind of like just making a little T in the middle of the air. If you want to test and make sure you're doing it right, put your finger up and pretend it's a birthday candle. If you blow really hard to blow out the candle, that's going to be way too much air. Have you ever blown on a candle and just made the flame kind of bend over and but not go out? That's the kind of air you want for your recorder. Gentle air. And if you're blowing straight on your finger, and you can feel that air. If you just touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth and then drop it back down really quick, you can feel the breaks in the air. Even if you just keep blowing the air constantly, it's all one big long stream of air. You don't want to blow in your recorder like this. Because number one, it looks like you're hyperventilating. And number two, it's gonna make a bad sound that'll sound like this. And that's not what we want. We want it to go like this. All right, so make sure you're not squeaking when you play. Use the flat fingerprint parts of your fingers. Use gentle air. Keep your recorder down towards your body and blow super soft and just touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth to make that separation. Almost like you were saying, do, 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 or two, 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 without the ooh. So it's like, do, 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 do. 
okay? Do not say the ooh part while you play. I heard some people going and that's just strange. So you can't say the ooh, it's not a kazoo, you don't have to hum in it while you play. All right, good work, keep up your practice and next week we will learn a song using G and E, okay? Keep practicing, have a great day, bye.